Hi, Miss June. Hi, you must be my 10 o'clock, Miss Moniz. Yes, thanks for seeing me. My friend Tasha Lowe, she highly recommended you. I know Tasha. She's now having the time of her life in Dubai. <laughs> yes, I need that kind of peace. A peace. So I take it that you are here for divorce? <sighs> yes, and I want to take him for everything he has. He's a liar and a cheater. Can you prove he's a cheater? Yes, I hired a private investigator, but he hasn't found anything yet. I know he is. He's never at home. He's always coming home freshly washed. And John L doesn't even sleep with me anymore. Um, Mrs. Wetherington, would you mind sharing your husband's full name for processing? Oh, Donnell James Wetherington. And I'm Monice Wetherington. Of DJ Motors? Yes, that's one of his businesses. But he has so much money and off the books things that I can definitely prove. Mrs. Wetherington, I'm so sorry, but I don't think I can take your case. I know just the person who can help you, though. I know just the person who can, though. Why? I thought you were the best at what you do. I am. But it would just be a conflict of interest. A conflict of interest? I mean, this is just not my area of expertise. Aren't you a divorce lawyer? Yes. You know what? <laughs> I have to get back to work. Please reconsider. This will be such an easy win for you. I'll give you a call, Mrs. Wetherington. Have a good day. Uh, Clara, Mrs. Wetherington didn't look so happy. Did we get the case? Unfortunately not, Mr. Donovan. I actually recommended her to another lawyer that I think may be a better fit for her, um, Jason. <clears throat> Why can't you take the case? Um, I actually know her husband, and I think it would be a conflict of interest. <laughs> not only are you going to take the case, but you're going to get this company another win. Understand? I could be disbarred. I'm not doing it. Look, you either take this case or you're done here. You're just a part of our quota and there's plenty of other women who can take your spot. divorcing you. Babe, I filed for divorce long before I met you, but she keeps on threatening me not being able to see my kids. The kids? Yes. I don't even go home, and when I do, it's just to see the kids. Okay, so not only are you a liar, you have a whole family that you didn't even tell me about. This can get me disbarred. Babe, you're the best in town. Maybe you can help me out by making her take less or even settle it? Oh, I can't. That goes against my entire ethical code. Babe, you're telling me you're going to take everything from me, including my kids? I told my boss that I can't do it, okay? He's forcing me. So what now? So you get your stuff and go home to your wife. Babe, listen. We are no longer together. I do not know why she's doing this right now because I served her papers long before I met you. Okay, so you need to know that I don't date liars and I don't date married men, okay? You need to go home to your wife. Babe, please. Please, just take your stuff and go.
Miss Cortez, he threatened my position here if I didn't take the case. Why can't you take the case? Because I know the client's husband. It's a conflict of interest. Why can't anyone else take the case? That was my idea, and he shot me down. He said he wanted a win for the company, and if I didn't, he'd fire me. They're in the other room talking right now. I want you to hear their conversation. Just be careful. Okay, this is the next case we've got to get, all right? It's a divorce, nasty divorce, lots okay. of things going on in the background. It's the Weatherington family. Weatherington? Weatherington family. Family, okay. Okay, and we got to get this, okay? Right. Okay. What's it worth? Uh, about 15 million. Wow, okay. Like I said, got to get it. Gotcha. Um, if you excuse me a few seconds. Oh, absolutely. So what's going on? I told you I'm taking care of it. How? She won't even take my case. I'm not playing with you, Lewis. I want my money. Look, don't, don't get upset about this, okay? I told her she has to take the case, okay? And when we get that money, I'm gonna buy out that old hag Cortez and we take control of this company. Did you get the papers for Daniel? I have to prove that he has the offshore account and all those millions in the safe if we wanna get this money. Are you sure you want to double cross him? I mean, I, I don't want you to be all up in your feelings about this, okay? We just need that money. He crossed me when he started sleeping with your employee. I just want what's owed to me. And I want to take both of them down. And if you even think about playing with my money, I'm going to take you down too. Oh, baby, I, I wouldn't even think about it, okay? We just get this $15 million, okay? And then we get rid of Clara and Miss Cortez, I promise. That's a nice plan. Too bad it'll never work. <sighs> oh, so you're eavesdropping now? Yeah, and I wasn't the only one. Oh, who else is with you? <clears throat> I was. <clears throat> Miss Cortez, I, um... You were plotting to take over my firm and to get Claire disbarred? She should be disbarred. She's sleeping with my husband. Yeah, I didn't know he was married. And I have proof of that, by the way. You're sleeping with my boss, though, so it doesn't really seem like you care about Donnell. I don't care about Donnell. I just wanted my money. He hasn't been home for months, so I can do as I please. You both have no proof. We recorded everything. So yes, we do have cold hard proof. You can't do this. This is my company and my money. I will see to the board that you will be disbarred. Your disgusting behavior does not belong in my firm. What about my divorce? Because I still want my money. Based on your actions today, you'll be going to jail for a very long time. If this firm doesn't take my case, I will sue you all. And I will sue you for illegally conspiring with my CEO to extort funds from my firm and the defamation of Claire's character. Trust me, baby girl, you don't want to take me to court. <sighs> Donovan, you need to pack your things and get out of here because Claire's taking that space. <laughs> You're going to give my job to this rookie? Are you serious? Yeah, this rookie who's trustworthy, loyal, and made $60 million for this firm last year. You have 15 minutes to vacate the premises or I will have your car towed from my firm. I'm so sorry I got you involved in this. I just wanted you to know what was going on. It's okay. I'm glad you did. You are a force to be working with, and I would love to have you on my team. Thank you. The moral of the story is, always choose you, and never let anyone sway you from your morals. Stand up for yourself and what's right. 
your blessings will be infinite. 